like imagine just standing there surrounded by books and you know sometimes at the age that we are we feel that we know things you know we feel that we have enough experiences but you know a lot of times we may have the experience we may have the knowledge but we may not have the wisdom and we have gotten our books alhamdulillah so let me head home and i'll share with you what i got okay oh okay this is not actually a fiction book it's a memoir it's a memoir of alexandra fuller growing up I used to love to read this series. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum everyone and welcome to another uh, impromptu vlog. I hope that everyone has been well inshallah. So I am outside today because I had some work engagement stuff. I bring all of you along to show you all one of my favorite secondhand bookshops inshallah. It's not so big, it's not so huge, but I think the coziness is something that i like and because you know secondhand bookshops brings about basically a second home i guess for used books but we are still able to read them and benefit them inshallah so in any case if you have not been to the bookshop the second bookshop before it's literally the complex beside the library and yeah it's, it's there if you see that um entrance the opening there yeah it's actually on the ground floor and it's going to be the first shop that you'd see on your right and we are here the avenue bookstore so right out here we have like the two for five dollars books and as you can see here, they have like, you know, the entire Collins uh, classic series. Although they are like second-hand books, but some of them are still in good condition. You can get like books $19 for two for five. Here we have one of my favorite authors, Jodi Picoult. Like this thick for two ninety, and it's two for $5. You know, if you spend a little bit more time to browse through, inshallah, you'll find something that you like. Imagine just standing there, surrounded by books, which are still amazing books that you are getting at a cheaper price. I'm not sure how the structure... What the books are. It's amazing. Growing up, I used to love to read this series. So there's Kira Kira, Wheat Flower and The Outside Beauty, but I love the Kira Kira book. Have you ever read this? Let me know. This was also one of the kind of book series that I enjoyed reading growing up. Chicken Soup for the Soul. It has with it like short stories, real life stories from people. This one, the theme of the book. Okay. And we have gotten our books, alhamdulillah. So let me head home and I'll share with you what I got. Okay? I am back home, alhamdulillah. Let me share with you some of the books that I got. This is the entire stack. I got six books for $20 only, alhamdulillah. You know, usually when you buy books, it's about 15 ish to 20 plus ish to 30 dollars that kind but you can actually get six books for 20 dollars and roughly each of the books are two dollar 90 cents when you get two of them it's five dollars let me share with you what i got interestingly 
um, a lot of the books in the pile that I got is fiction books. I usually love to read self-help books than to fiction books. I prefer non-fiction books. But you know, sometimes when you just want a break from the self-help books, you want a break from the um, non-fiction books, then you go for, you know, some books of stories of sorts. I would always appreciate the ones that comes with reminders and lessons. These are some of the books that I just got. So my perception based on the title and the synopsis of the book is what I perceive to be as having a sort of reminder or lesson. The very first book is called Yuki Means Happiness. Written by Alison Jean Lester. There's this particular person, she's actually looking or seeking for happiness. And basically, it's about a woman's journey to discover her true self. A review says here, a mystery, a love story, and a fascinating encounter with a different culture. Yuki Means Happiness is an outstanding novel. Um, initially, at times, it's $17. And I got this at $2.90. Finally. <laughs> the second book is Everything and Nothing. There's no such thing as a safe house. An unsettling, menacing read. Places as children, we are told not to talk to strangers, but as adults, we welcome them into our homes. So how do we know exactly who to trust? I'm not sure of the original price of the book, but it's seven ninety nine pounds. I got this at two ninety. Technically, I got this at two fifty. All the books are at two dollar fifty cents because it's two four five. The third book that I got is called the Season of Second Chances. The Season of Second Chances is about paint chips and pain, the renovation of a house and the renewal of a soul. About women and friendship and how to find your home. So another fiction read. So, yeah, I look forward to go through the plot. Next read is the final fiction book that I got from this pile, from this stack. It's called Living Before the Rain Come by Alexandra Fuller. The review here says, a book that deserves to be read for generations. Oh, okay, this is not actually a fiction book. It's a memoir. It's a memoir of. Alexandra Fuller. We're gonna read a memoir basically guys. I really thought this was a fiction book guys. It's actually a memoir. Okay, at least there's something uh, interesting from today's pile, right? The other four books are non-fiction books. The first one is Stumbling on Happiness. It's retail at $2.90 based on what I got it from the bookstore. Um, but it's actually US $14.95 Daniel Gilbert I think I read one of his books before and yeah I remember you know his writings are very insightful so which is why I got this book it's interesting to read um, such research and findings on a certain topic and particularly this is on happiness okay so the next non-fiction book or self-help read that I got is this switch how to change things when change is hard the reason i got this was because of the authors if i'm not mistaken it's the power of moments i read that book in an ebook form but you know that book really is good and you know when i just saw their name on the cover and you know on the topic of change you know i think there's gonna be a lot to learn from so which is why i picked this up so here it says in a compelling story driven narrative they bring together decades of counterintuitive research in psychology sociology and other fields to shed new light on how we can effect transformative change whether your interest is in changing the world or your waistline. Next is another book that I got at $2.50. It's supposed to be $29.95 Canadian. On this book, Letters to a Young Journalist. This particular person, this Sam Samuel G. Friedman, he has been, you know, in this whole career of journalism and teaching it for the past 30 years. And basically, he has placed, you know, his advices about journalism 
to young journalists who wants to work towards that path if you guys to their career although i'm not a journalist although that's not my career path although that's not what i'm looking at for my life but i think read and learn from a person who has experienced for a long period of time in a particular field you know a lot of times not only that they give you tips and tricks with regards to the work or the career but they will always couple um, these experiences together with their wisdom so i think the wisdom portion is the one that i'm looking forward to and you know sometimes at the age that we are we feel that we know things you know we feel that we have enough experiences but you know a lot of times we may have the experience we may have the knowledge but we may not have the wisdom and that wisdom is really something that we should learn from our seniors from the elders and although their times are very much different from us but it doesn't mean that you know their wisdom has expired especially when you are seeking wisdom from the people who has gone through a path that you want to embark on i think that really is a valuable lesson for us to learn from and you know if you have you know seniors or elderly around you that you can talk to and that you can have conversations with it's good for you to ask you know simple things like why are you staying so long in this industry what are the things that you have learned throughout your experiences is there any advice you would want to share with me as a young person you know venturing into this particular career path and you realize that you know the many many years of experiences that they have went through in this particular path um they might have to learn the hard way but you don't have to because they have you know achieved such wisdom and they are you know the living examples to give us that advice and to mentor us inshallah so yeah that is about this book last but not the least is this book Written by a person who has a PhD, Sarah, she wrote this book called The Angst of Adolescence, How to Parent Your Teen and Live to Laugh About It. I usually get books related to teenagers, youths, adolescents, young adults. It's for the fact that that is my passion with regards to work, with regards to my career and basically the group of people that I want to reach out to. So really, really, really help me to understand them better and, you know, especially, you know, learning from somebody who is proficient, you know, in this, you know, youth development, this psychology and all of that thing. Although I'm not a parent of a teen, but, you know, anybody can learn from this, anybody can read this book. And of course, if you are a parent, then it will be good for us to, you know, basically learn how we are able to um, connect, communicate and interact with um, the teens and the youths better, inshallah. So yeah, that is all for my loot today, alhamdulillah. So I hope that um, this impromptu book sharing of the books that I got uh, from the second hand book source has been of benefit to you, inshallah. Um, you know, usually when I enter second hand book shops or bookstores, I do not have any specific book to find because there will always be something interesting to find and sometimes i want to enter the bookstore to only find a book i will end up getting a lot but i think that's the fun or that's the adventure of secondhand bookshops you know you will never know that particular gem that you will meet you know who knows after this these books could also go to somebody else and they can find another home and that you know basically the hard work of the authors can benefit more people out there in the world inshallah always remember to shukur a little more regret a little less and love what you do and i hope for you to join me in the next vlogs inshallah so feel free to like feel free to share the videos feel free to subscribe if you want to take care everyone and assalamualaikum